Dennis Ferris, president of Austin Police Retired Officers Association, shared on his social media an email that former Deputy Chief Robert Gross sent to Mayor Kirk Watson, saying in part, on June 18th, Gross attempted to contact 911 four or five times about a deceased person. Please, and I've had to call 911 before and on, on an issue and the police never showed up. I mean, hours and hours, they never showed up. Ferris says the city continues to see a staffing shortage all across the board, which is alarming for Austin residents. Well, when you have a shortage of 911 operators and you call 911, there's nobody to answer the phone. So it just rings and rings and rings, and that's what happened in this instance. In the letter sent to Watson, it says Gross's first attempt to contact 911 was at 8.50 p.m. He was on hold for a minute and 54 seconds. And on the fourth or fifth attempt, when dispatch finally answered, it was 9.10 p.m. Not being able to get police, fire, EMS to your house. If your house is on fire and you call 911 and it takes them 17 minutes to answer the phone, to get the fire department to your house to put your house out, you can lose everything you own. That's 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 dangerous. This is not the first time where Austin residents have waited extended periods of time for dispatch to answer. Council member Mackenzie Kelly says she has brought this concern to other council members back in October 2022. One of the issues council identified at the 911 call center was pay. And um, pay for our call takers has slowly risen to a higher level. Kelly says City Council needs to have continued discussion on how they can improve the communications department at APD.